they are tired because of that. Now the one closest to us, he's a very good looking male. He's about seven years old, so he's slightly older than the one at the back. The one at the back is about six years. And it's not just the two of them, there should be four of them in total. But what happens is because they're dominant males and they move around quite a lot, you find that the other two might be somewhere else with another pride of lions or they're checking the boundaries, trying to mark that so that other males don't come here and take their females and don't take all of the area that is theirs. So they're trying to protect it as much as possible and that's why they spread. But look at how fluffy his mane is. Doesn't he have a beautiful mane? You can see it's quite dark on the chest and then lighter around the head. And look at those eyes. You see those eyes? He's just looking at us. So he's checking just to see what's going on. And, and the reason why he opened his eyes initially is not only because I'm talking, but there's some birds that are flying around here called swallows. Now swallows are very fast birds and they fly very quickly. And one just now actually flew into the male at the back and hit him in the head and woke him up, which was very, very funny. So he got a big fright when the bird hit him. And so every now and then they come flying past and they then get a little fright as they hear these wings going over their head. And so if you watch carefully every now and then, maybe a bird will come over there. They travel all the way from Europe to here in South Africa for the summer because they're looking for insects. So where the summer is and the rain falls, then there's lots of insects. And in Europe, it's too cold now. So they've got to come all the way down to South Africa, which is a 10-hour flight by plane. But for these swallows, you can imagine it takes much longer than that. Now, what the very interesting thing about the swallows, which hopefully, like I say, we'll see at some point, is that the swallow doesn't need to sleep when it flies all the way. So you can imagine it's now flying from, let's say, Spain all the way to South Africa, and the whole way it stays flying. It doesn't land or even try and find a place to rest. It will just continue to fly and it will even sleep while flying. Isn't that amazing? I think it's absolutely fantastic. And there you can see our male lion is showing off his big teeth. So this particular male, his name is called Tinho, and Tinho is actually mean a tooth in um, the local language so it's a, a perfect name for him as he shows his big canines if you can repeat it for me please that's very funny. I wonder why he's lying like that. I think it's because he's a bit hot with all of that mane, so he just opens his belly out so that he can get a little bit of cool breeze over it. Not a very, it doesn't look as though it's very comfortable, does it? Although I think it seems to work for male lions. They seem to like doing it. Uh, so Lance, you're asking, how do male lions sleep during the day? Well, basically what happens with a male lion, or any lions really, is that normally here in Africa it's very hot. And so we... and it's difficult for them to be able to move around. They're going to use lots of energy to try and stay cool because they'll have to pant and that means they open their mouth and they breathe very fast. And so lions, instead of using all that energy, would rather go underneath a bush and that's why they sleep during the day. So they try and find a bush somewhere where it's got lots of shade and then they'll just fall asleep there and they can sleep for as much as 20 hours in a 24-hour period, which is a long time. And the reason why, like I say, is because of the amount of energy that they use when they're hunting. So when they chase other animals, it means that they use a lot of energy and it makes them very tired. And so then during the day they sleep and then at night when it's cooler and it's darker and it's easier for them to hunt, then they wake up and start moving. So I'm sure these two are going to be very, very sleepy for now. And then you'll find when it starts to get around sunset, that's when they're going to start waking up and their heads will be up and they might even start to roar at that stage to try and tell everybody that they are here. So for now, it's going to be a little bit of lazy lions and unfortunately but you never know with them maybe something walks past you could have something like a zebra or a, a buffalo that comes past and that will definitely wake them up
Genesis, you're wondering why lions' eyes are different than people's eyes. Well, the reason is, is because our eyes are not designed very well to see at night. So we are able to see amazing colors because we like to see all the colors and, we, and we're active during the day. We're not animals that are active at night. Whereas lions, they don't see very many colors. They don't see all the greens and blues and yellows and reds like we do. They see very, very muted colors. So what muted means is that there's very little color in what they're actually seeing and so their eyes are designed to see much better at night and so in their eyes you've got two types of cells you've got rods and cones so cones are for color remember C for cones C for color that's the kind of cell that picks up color and rods are light cells so they pick up the amount of light so lions have way more light cells rod cells than what our eyes do so that they can see at night like we see during the day oh whoopsie boy did you just fall over <laughs> <laughs> and so that's why their eyes are a little bit different. What is the same as us is you see that their eyes are on the front of their head next to each other. So we also have eyes like that, so not like the antelope that have eyes on the side of their head. And the reason why their eyes are in the front is because they've got what's called binocular vision. Now binocular vision is that they are able to judge distance. So they can work out how far a zebra or a buffalo is away from them so that they can accurately determine or work out how to get to that animal without spooking it and being able to then hunt it. So they need their eyes on the front. Antelope, because they don't need to judge distance, they just need to spot if they see a predator. Their eyes are on the side of their head so they can see all the way around them and pick up any predators if they're around. So that's why they have a different type of eye to the antelope. But their eyes in terms of how they see and how they kind of are able to see is very similar to us because they are in the front of the head with both of those eyes facing forward.